Ionic compounds form between oppositely charged ions. In general, a metal forms a cation and reacts with a nonmetal that forms an anion. Although the individual ions are charged, the overall charge of the resulting compound is neutral because the total positive and negative charges balance each other out. The charges of the ions are predictable based on an element's column number on the periodic table. In part A, sodium will form a cation with a plus one charge, and oxide is what we call oxygen after it forms an anion with a two minus charge. To balance these charges, there would need to be two sodium ions so that the total positive charge is two positive, matching the charge of the oxide ion. The resulting formula shows that there are two sodium ions with the subscript 2. In part B, aluminum is a group 3 metal that forms a 3 positive cation, and sulfide is what we call sulfur after it forms an anion with a 2 minus charge. To balance these charges, we would need to find the lowest common multiple between 2 and 3. So two aluminum ions would have a total positive charge of 6 positive, and three sulfide ions would have a total of 6 minus, Al2S3.